Hi folks, in last week's video I said how uh, certain experiences can happen to a man that can change him from behaving badly to living a good uh, creative life. And I outlined three things uh, that are st statistically proven that can cause a man to change. One is that he can fall in love and that can cause a change in his life. There are many such recorded events and many books written on this subject. Uh, there was a, a gangster that I knew of who fell in love with his probation officer and they subsequently got married and he completely changed, turned his life around, completely changed. And the second reason I gave was that a spiritual experience, a religious conversion uh, and history has myriads of such stories of people that have encountered Jesus Christ and as a result of that have completely changed their lives. The third one that I mentioned was simply, and I want to quote a line from a song from the Beatles because it sums it up. It says, I'll get by with a little help from my friends. And that is a third cause of a man changing uh, from the bad to the good. Now I want to introduce you to some of the men that we work with at a hostel in Birmingham called Law, Leisure and Learning. And I'll let their stories speak for themselves. They just give very brief encounters of what they've experienced since they've been coming to the hostel. I'll let them speak to you now. My name's Mickey Smith, I'm 48 years old, everybody knows me as Smudger. I've recently come out of Winston Green Prison. I've been living on the streets, fighting Class A drug habit for 30 odd years. I was introduced to uh, Law, Legend and Learning, Roger and John. Uh, I got myself onto a course to help me with my drug habit. I've been here 12 months at this Law and Leisure. I've completed a course, 26 sessions. I've never had the comfort of having my own home. I'm drug free. I was sick of waking up in the morning, wondering when the next bag was gonna come from, or the knock at the door from the police. So I had to do something about it, and I have done something about it. I've been drug free since Christmas. It's been hard, I'm not saying it's not gonna be hard. You only get, in, you only get out of it what you put into it. So all I say to anybody is, you, you got to have it in your head before you can, anybody can help you. If you don't want to come off it, you're not going to come off it. All I say to everybody is stick in there. You're going to have rough days, you're going to have bad days, but, but it'll get good. But until it gets good, it'll get worse. All I can say, the advice I'll give to anybody is stick in there. You'll get there in the end. And it's not nothing like being drug free. Thanks. Hello, my name is AD. Uh, I'm 45 years old and I've been battling for a 25 year drug habit. I've spent numerous occasions in Winston Green prison, coming in, coming out, going in, coming out, sleeping rough on the streets, shoplifting to feed me habit. And while I was in prison, I got talking to the resettlement team who put me in touch with uh, the law leisure uh, and learning uh, hostel and I came out of prison last May uh, when I came out of prison I was on uh, 110 uh, mils of uh, methadone uh, but now I'm only on 40 mils uh, but since being at Law Leisure and Learning uh, it's, it's helped me tremendously uh, Roger, John and all the management. I've got my own room now. Everything in it's nice. I've never had it before. All my trust is coming, coming back with the family, uh, which I'd lost through being on drugs, dis deceiving them to obtain money to score. Uh, but all that trust is now coming back. Uh, 
but I say, if it wasn't for law, leisure and learning, I wouldn't be sat here now where I am now, drug free. Uh, I haven't taken opiates since May last year and uh, I just carry on taking my medication and taking each day as it comes. But like, uh, it won't happen overnight. It is a hard battle, but you have to have it in your mind to win the battle and then it's hard work but you will win eventually and end up where I am totally uh, drug free uh, with a nice room thank you very much hello my name's Mark Moody at the moment I'm living at Law Leisure and Learning Hostel uh, in Handsworth um, I mean three years ago I had everything my own flat and everything um, I mean I had my leg crushed years ago and I've got a bad back through it some, I, entered, I met somebody that was on drugs and I started taking it because it was helping with the pain and I wish I hadn't have done. Uh, due to being on the drugs I've ended up going out shoplifting and stuff and I've been in prison three times. Yeah, before that I never had a criminal record. And I mean, the last time I actually came out of prison I moved into the hostel which was say about 15 months ago. And since then I've actually stopped going out shoplifting and everything. I've tried getting off the drugs and hopefully I will actually manage to do it. It's like, I mean it's not going to happen overnight, it's just happening slowly. But with the help of the people at the hostel and everything, that I can see me actually getting off it. And it's just you know, like waiting to see if I can actually get off it. It's just determination. I mean it's it's down to all the help that I actually get from uh, you know, like John and Roger and everybody at the hostel. I mean, the only way I can actually see me getting off it is, I mean, because you've got to want to be able to do it yourself. Uh, and hopefully, you know, like in the near future, I will be off it. But thanks to the hostel, I mean, I haven't had to go out shoplifting or anything for it. Just going to have to see what happens over time.